to go, fuckface. It's not bad enough that you took what was a vibrant film industry here and cut its head off. And it wasn't enough that you let Duke Energy get away with everything. But now you're making North Carolina the laughing stock of the nation again. You know, it'd be nice if maybe I could look at the news and not see everybody all over the nation and the world talking about the state that I live in, a state that I actually kind of like in a really, really negative way. But not for you. No, Mercury, Macari, Macari. You've got to stick your fingers in everything and just turn the whole system to shit, don't you? This is how Macari and his fucking dumb pieces of shit, how his associates would like to make North Carolina. This is not us. This is not who we are. Isn't that a hashtag? Macari, elections have consequences and you are fucking yourself. Oh, wait, you know what? This is the South. Maybe you're not. But I tell you what you are doing. You're making a legacy. A legacy that you're not gonna like. Because in 50 years, when people look back on this time and this day and age, they're not gonna look at you, Macquarie, and go, see, there was someone. There was a moral crusader. No, they're gonna go, see, there was a dick who somehow got in charge of a state. Let's never let that happen again. If it wasn't bad enough that I have to deal with people on my Facebook from all the corners of the globe asking me why my governor cares more about dicks than the average gay person and puts more effort into making sure certain people can't use the bathroom than he did when Duke Energy dumped a bunch of fucking cancer into the goddamn river. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, he had to go and pass this ordinance that basically says the speed limit is set. So if I go one mile, one mile over the speed limit, that's it. I get a ticket. There's no such thing as driving traffic conditions anymore, no. Oh, they catch you going 0.5 over 65, you're fucked. You're fucked. That's how McCory has chosen to tie up police officers. So that's Governor Fucker's endgame. Make everything as annoying as possible and see if you can get away with it. Well, November's coming. We'll see if you're right.